and welcome back to the channel. I have a fun share today that I want to uh, share with you guys. I bought the Precision Glue Gun uh, or Glue Press. I have been contemplating this for some time. I didn't even know this thing existed, but I happened to be watching a video. It's been several months back, probably six to eight months ago. And I actually seen a lady using this here. And I had to stop the video to try to read what was, um, what it said on the side of this little thing here. And I finally did get it where I could see it. And so I went ahead and broke down and bought it. And um, I actually purchased mine off uh, May May. May May made it. And MayMay.com, I think, is what her um, um, site is. But um, I just, I tell you, I'm in love with it. I can't lie. I absolutely, I mean, I've just had it for about a week or two. But I actually love it. And um, anyway, my box kind of had a little bit of trouble in shipping here. But it didn't affect uh, the glue press. So I'm happy about that. When I first had seen the box, when I opened it, I thought, oh my goodness. But it did okay. It did fine. And uh, uh, May May sent it out really fast. I think I ordered it one day. She shipped it the next. So I was real impressed with that. And uh, yeah, here's even the top of the box. So it, it got kind of scrunched in the, in the shipping, but... But it made it fine. Now what comes with it is two bottles. And I'm actually going to link a really good review um, in the description box if you want to see a review on it. I'm not going to do a big review on it. But it comes with two bottles. This one I have not uh, filled yet, but I will fill it with my reptile glue. You'll have to be careful what kind of glue that you do fill this with because if it's a really thick, heavy glue, I don't know that it, it will work as well. Um, and anyway, you can watch the review, but the pin is in the cap, so you do not have to worry about chasing down that silly pin, is what I do all the time, or putting the, um, the pin in the bottle every time, but, so it won't uh, clog up on me. So, when I'm not using the glue press, I just set it back on the stand like that. It actually will set in it like this. But when I'm done, I just kind of leave it on my desk like that. So, but I love it. Now, the one thing I have found is that if you do not clean this, like, um, you can use it. This is what's good, though, is you don't have to keep putting the pin back in. Let me go there first. You don't have to keep putting the pin back in your bottle so that it doesn't clog because it has this little silicone um, plate under there. And it just simply sets on top of it and it doesn't clog it. It just keeps it where you can just use it for the whole day if you're at your crafting table. You can just continue to use it and it not clog. And you don't have to keep putting that pin in and out, in and out. So for that reason alone, love it. But I do find that I can get my glue more even when I'm pressing it. It comes out in a more even flow than when I'm pressing my bottle with my hands. So, uh, anyway, I can honestly say I love it. Bottle comes out really easy. It just slips out and slips back in. Uh, but what I have found, the first time I used it, my pin kind of was stuck because the pin is in the cap. And when I put it on and closed it up for the evening, and then when I went to use it next, I had a hard time getting the pin out of the little nozzle because it was just simply stuck from the glue. So what I do, what I learned to do now is I just take one of my, uh, well, I'm going to rob one out of a bottle here. I just take a pin and I will even put it in some, um, I have undo. So what I do is I just dip it in some undo, but you could dip it in some water or something. And I just simply run it through there a couple of times to kind of clean out that nozzle. If, if it's the end of the day and I'm done. And then what I did was I just put that in there. 
and I have found when I took the cap off, it wasn't stuck. I was afraid to pull too hard even. I was afraid I might mess up the pin because it was just glued to the nozzle. So that was a little tip that I that I figured out that I really needed to do. But uh, overall, love, love, love the glue press. So I'm, I'm happy. I spent a little bit, like 40 maybe $43 total with shipping. But I can say I absolutely love it. And it comes with a bottle of glue. So this one bottle will have glue, one bottle will be empty. Also, one is a, uh, a, a little bit thicker nozzle. And the other one is for a thin stream nozzle, kind of like your uh, oh, uh, gl art glitter glue. And that, that when you get that little fine tip, that is kind of what this one is. And the other one's a wider nozzle for a more heavy heavy glue there, heavy gluing. I shouldn't say heavy glue, but heavy gluing uh, because you don't want to use the heavy glue in these. So anyway, that was just a fun, I, a fun thing I wanted to share with you, but I do love it. So it, for me, it saves time because I'm not constantly hunting that pen if I've lost it where I've laid it down uh, or, uh, or putting the pen in and out, in and out, in and out every time I need to glue something. And another thing that's kind of fun about this is it has a place for the lid. So you're just putting your lid there. That's where your lid stays the whole time you're gluing. You don't lose your, your lid or your pin. So very happy with this. Very, very happy. So that was, for me, it was definitely, you know, two thumbs up for that. Another share I want to do while I'm thinking about it is I bought this Ultimate crafter's pit glue from Hobby Lobby. I gave $5.49 for it. And I actually what I was looking for was a glue that could replace my reptile glue so I didn't have to order it online and it would be cheaper. But this glue is a really, really thick glue. You, you can't hardly really use it as a glue for... This glue would be too thick to put in the glue press bottle. Uh, it is just way thick. But what I did find uh, was that I can replace my Fabri-Tac with it because this stuff holds, it is thick, and it holds. Now, Fabri-Tac, I hate using Fabri-Tac. I used to love it, but any more that smell, the smell of the Fabri-Tac just drives me wonkers. And when I use it, I smell it. it if I leave and come home, I can smell it as soon as I walk in the door. And it just uh, is just too much anymore. So I'm trying to get away from the Fabri-Tac. I still use it. I still have it. But I, I'm trying to get away from it. So this, the Ultimate, uh, it is a excellent glue. And it will replace my Fabri-Tac in the end. Uh, other than I will, you know, uh, if I need to glue something to cover on, this is so thick. Uh, you know, I may have to end up using Fabri-Tac for that, but but for the most part, I'm going to get rid of the Fabri-Tac and start using this. It will bond whatever you want. If you want to put a button on, you know, your paper or a, a, even metal, it will even do metal. Now, I have not tried the metal yet. Uh, let me see. Yeah, metals. It adheres to metal, so like your Tim Holtz little pieces, I believe it would hold it. It's that good. Uh, what I've used it so far on. So, Crafter's Pick, it was $5.49, which is half the price of Fabri-Tac, nearly. Um, at Walmart, I think a bottle of Fabri-Tac is nearly $10, maybe a little bit more now. So, uh, if it's not half, it's it's in that, you know, half, almost half off less, or half less. So, um, just a good glue, guys. It, it'd be worth picking up if you do a lot of gluing um, your pieces and things. So, Works great. You just can't use it on your, I mean, it, it's not a good glue to use for gluing your paper on and stuff because it's so thick. Uh, it just, it's not good for that. But that's actually what I picked it up for because I was trying to find a glue that I could, uh, like I said, replace the reptile glue that I use now or the art glitter glue or, you know, one of those. So, okay, last share I want to share with you. I, uh, have made a little uh, Easter tag book. This is for a swap over on Sophie's Notes. And so I just wanted to share it. 
I, uh, I'll have to put the digital, where I got this digital, I'll have to link it in the description box because I didn't look to see what it was before I got started on the video. But I will link it in the description box. If I can remember at the time I edit, edit the video, I will try to remember that. So I just used that digital and a lot of like um, 49 and market pieces. These are all 49 and park, a market. And then I bought some of these Easter just uh, quotes and words. So I will link that also because I can't remember where I got it. I'll have to link it in the description box. So anyway, just a fun little tag book. I uh, got me some uh, Pinterest pi little Easter pictures and just, just made a fun little uh, tag book. We were to, uh, we had a certain size tag, of course, that we had to use, and as well as um, the size of the tag. So, so the tags were just made out of manila car, uh, folder that I got from the Dollar Tree. I absolutely love to use the Dollar Tree's manila folders. They're just the right color. They're not too thick, but they're not so flimsy. So I just like Dollar Tree manila folders when I'm making things like this. And I've just made, whoops, uh-oh, I got a little glue there that come through. Mm, okay. So just a few various papers, just made up some little booklets there. Use some of my vintage laces there. Did stitching in white. This is the cutest. It was the cutest little um, uh, digital for Easter. And I've used a lot of Tim Holtz as well. I used some Tim Holtz pieces there. Vintage ticket. Vintage ephemera. And some of the tape that's uh, aged. And then I took a bag and I actually just glued it to the... Uh, glued it to the tag, and made a little bag so that I could put a little booklet in it. Got a piece of onion skin paper there. And just, just uh, did it with this little cloth binding to hold it together there. Had to use eight tags. That was another requirement, is that we used eight tags. I just put a piece of greenery in there as well. A couple of tags. These are Tim Holtz, just his little ephemera. This is 49 and Market. I got it out of some little pack. I can't remember what the pack is called, so. So cute. I just absolutely love how it came out. Some more, this is just a vintage hanky here that I've used. And then here is the last page and the back. And I don't know, I might put something, you know, just uh, something on the back. I'm not sure yet. Just not sure. But for the most part it is done. And that's for my little, uh, my little uh, Easter tag book swap over at Sophie's Notes. So anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.